All right, today we're at Tom Bigby State Park. It's close to Tupelo, Mississippi. Birthplace of Elvis. Oh yeah. Check these things out. What is this? I guess you can hang on them. Nope, can't do that. These bathrooms are really nice. I'm impressed with them. I tell you what, this park is in the middle of nowhere, okay? We're gonna go check it out for you guys. Got your little fire pit here. It has a pretty big lake here. Got a pavilion. Got your pavilion with the lake behind you. Be a nice little picnic area. They have a park over here. I'm gonna go show you that real quick. Looks like they have disc golf. If you watch my Tishomingo State Park video, you know that I am not good at disc golf. We have a nice little playground area here. Say hello. Got a swing set with one swing. <laughs> I don't know how, what happened to the other ones. We have another little playground here. Hey, these playgrounds are really nice. It's like they got that rubber mulch in there. Hey, they got a baseball field. <laughs> Man, yeah. Got a nice baseball field here. That's pretty neat. Got you a volleyball court here. Another little jungle gym right over there. Got you some monkey bars. I used to could swing on some monkey bars when I was a kid. Not anymore. Check out this pavilion. This thing's huge. Lord. You could have your party in here. Plenty of space. Got a big old spot here you could have your little dance floor right here. Got a view of the lake. Look, they got a little trail leading down to the lake. This would be a perfect pavilion for a family reunion. Got plenty of room. All right, let's go see what else we can find. Hey, do me a favor real quick and subscribe, please. Thank you. Hey, they got you a pull-up station right here. There we go. Get your exercise in. It's hard to tell, but it says uh, Tree Trunk Trail. It's got Toyota on it. I guess Toyota sponsors this part. Go check this trail out. Lord, I don't know about these steps here. Oh, looks like they have a lot of disc golf here. It's pretty down in here. Got tree trunk trails. Hey, we got trunks there. What? Lord, it looks like I gotta climb a mountain here. Lord. It's always uphill. Every time. This was like all the other parks I've been to lately. There's nobody at the gate with a map. It's like the honor system. We're just gonna see where this trail goes here. Whew. Man. That was a hill there. Get my workout in this morning. What is this? Looks like it's a push up and sit up bench. Who the heck gonna do that? Going off the trail for a minute. Let's see what this is over here. Looks like they have areas over here where you can uh, pitch a tent. Hey, that's nice. That's a nice little area. It's got you a platform for your tent. So get your little air mattress, you'll be ready to go. Said they had a few mountain biking trails here. I haven't seen them yet, but. 
See if we can go find those. Oh, I found some downhill now. I don't know about going down this part on a mountain bike. <laughs> Better have some good brakes. You seen all those mountain biking videos where they like do all these jumps and just screaming down a hill real fast? Whew, I don't know about that. It's always better going downhill. At least they got some hiking. Whew. Man, I got a steep hill to climb now. Uh, here's like the main lodge to the park. It's like right in the center of the park. It's got a pretty view of the lake. But there's some big bass in there. They have these cabins that you can rent. Uh, I looked on their website and they range from like $60 to like $120 a night. It really just depends on the size of the cabin. But the one I looked at, you had to reserve it for two nights. So you just keep that in mind. Yeah, they have quite a few cabins here that you can rent. Here's another cabin by the lake. It's pretty. That'd be a good view. Some of the cabins are kind of out in the woods and then some of them's on the lake, so. Looks like they have satellite. No swimming, guys. Maybe some alligators in here. Show you this pier they got out here. They have another pier at the other end of the lake. There's a guy out there, had a bunch of fishing rods set up and I didn't want to mess him up. So came to this one and showed you. Check out this view. That's pretty. They have a uh, boat ramp over here. I don't know for sure if that's for like personal use or like if it's for like the rangers or make it put you a flat bottom in here. You may not want to bring your hundred thousand dollar bass boat down here. I'm going to drive over here and show you the other side of the lake real quick. They have a lot of like little picnic areas and stuff like that that you know you could come just hang out for an afternoon or something but it's pretty in here. Yeah, they got a uh, boat ramp right here. It says a uh, trolling speed only. So you can only bring like a flat bottom with a trolling motor or you just can't use a big motor on it. A little spillway here. Got a pretty view of the lake right here. This would be a pretty lake just to come and fish and, you know, hang out. It's like any other lake around here. There's probably catfish, bass, brim, stuff like that. But the bike trail, as soon as you come into the park, you just park here to the left, and the bike trail is just right here beside it. Don't look too hard. Well, that concludes our tour of Tom Bigby State Park. So, I'd give it a thumbs up. Hey, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you at the next part.